Mr. Speaker, uh, thank you for this opportunity. I would like to apologize for my mistake in, uh, in describing my role. I retract uh, that, uh, that statement, that description, um, and I'm truly sorry for it. I in no way intended to uh, 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 diminish the, the great work that our, our men and women in the Canadian Armed Forces have done our superiors, and I'm, and I'm truly sorry. I'm not uh, here uh, to standing up to make any excuses uh, for it. I'm here to be able to acknowledge my uh, mistake, uh, to be able to uh, apologize for it, uh, to be able to learn from it, and so I can continue uh, to serve uh, uh, the, uh, the men and women of the Canadian Armed Forces. Thank you. Mr. Speaker, no one will ever take away from the Minister of Defence's actual service record, but people in the military have a name for what he did. It's called stolen valour. When someone takes credit for the brave actions of another, and what he did was wrong, and now he has lost the confidence of our men and women in uniform, and they need to have confidence in their leaders, especially when they're putting their lives on the line. So will the Prime Minister remove the Minister of Defence? Honourable Prime Minister. Speaker, when, when we make a mistake, Canadians expect us to apologize uh, and uh, to, uh, to acknowledge that mistake. That's exactly what we did, and that's why uh, the Minister of Defence uh, continues to have my full confidence. As you saw today, neither Prime Minister Trudeau nor Mr. Sajan are ready to answer questions. Apologizing is a good first step, but then you have to start actually answering questions and explaining to Canadians how you told that lie. This is not a mistake. A mistake is something that happens once. When you repeat the same lie several times, you're into another category. As far as we're concerned, Minister Sajan cannot stay in his position. It's going to be a death of a thousand cuts uh, as the military starts to say, look, there's no way this guy can lead us. And Prime Minister Trudeau, sooner or later, is going to have to come to that very simple realization.